Hi, this is Coach Chuck of the National Free Flight Society Youth Development Program. In this short clip, we will look at uh, massing your airplane for a remotely administered contest. We'll look at different scales that are available and methods to accurately use the scale to uh, mass your airplane. Let's talk a little about scales. One of the biggest issues we've seen is inappropriate scales. We're trying to measure rubber that weighs one and a half grams and planes that weigh anywhere from eight to nine and a half grams. A kitchen scale that's good to 10 pounds uh, simply isn't gonna cut it uh, with one gram resolution. You're gonna have to find a scale either at your school, uh, in one of your households or purchase a scale. Your other option is to scale something like this. Uh, this is sold as a lightweight kitchen scale, uh, a reloading scale, that kind of thing. This particular one is good to uh, half a kilogram, 500 grams or about a pound. That's a little high for what we're doing, but the important thing is we have uh, two decimal places on our gram measurement. So our, our gram reading has two decimal places and that's the minimum we consider uh, acceptable uh, to measure these small amounts. This is a, a 500 gram scale. I'd rather see a scale with say 100 or 50 gram uh, maximum range. So we're not so far down in the noise on it. Uh, this particular scale, there's a number of them out there that look like this. I highly recommend a brand called Amir, A-M-I-R. I've had about five of them that I've taken apart and used to build torque meters, and I haven't had any problem with drift. Some of the cheaper versions will have issues with drift. The Amir version of this scale, you can get for about $14 on Amazon. I'll include a link. You can find cheaper versions for about $10, uh, but they, if you look at the comments, they tend to have drift issues, so buyer beware. You need something with at least two decimal places. Let's see, one other place you might look is if uh, one of your team's parents is into coffee. They may use a scale like this uh, for weighing their coffee beans. Uh, if somebody is into reloading ammunition, they may have a suitable scale that you can borrow. But for, for 10 to $14, you can get a hundredth of a gram scale. Uh, for $30, you can get a milligram scale uh, either way. Uh, will be suitable for this uh, measurement. Uh, if you come with a scale that is uh, only measuring to the nearest gram, uh, the ES cannot tell if your rubber is within spec or not. Same with your airplane. And it could be uh, a cause for tiering if you're very close and they can't tell from your scale. So it's important to have the, the proper scale to do the job here. Okay, so now in order to weigh your plane, you don't want to set the plane directly on the scale because there's parts of it hanging on the table and, and you're going to get an incorrect weight. So what we're going to do is take a cut. Styrofoam would work better. Plastic's all I had. Place that on the scale and we've cut a slot that's almost as wide as our motor stick on our plane. After the cup is on the scale, press tear and make sure that with the cup on there, you're getting a zero reading on the scale. Now you can just drop the plane into that slot near the balance point of the plane and we're reading 8.07 grams. So we're heavy enough on the plane. That's all there is to uh, measuring the plane, but it's important to get it up off the scale uh, using a, a cup. Another option that we've used before is a piece of foam. Uh, say from, uh, this is from a, a laser printer cartridge. And again, tear the scale with that foam on it. And then you can press the plane into the slot that you've made in the foam and put it on the scale. Make sure it's not touching anything. Got 8.04 grams. I didn't push down on the plane with it on the scale, but I pressed it into the foam block off the scale so I wouldn't be loading up the uh, load cell in the uh, scale. Set your plane aside, and the last thing we need to do is measure the mass of your rubber. The easiest thing is take that same cup that you had and place it on the scale. Make sure it tears, and then find your 
first piece of rubber and simply drop it into the cup. 1.48 grams, so we're good to go there. Dump that back into your label bag so you know which piece is which. Put the cup back on the scale. You may have got some lube in the cup, so go ahead and tear it before your next piece of rubber. Sequence through all of your rubber like that. By using the cup, your rubber isn't spreading around the table and, and getting uh, off the scale and, and mismeasuring. So that's it on uh, weighing.